Peter Sermon this past spring? Well, it's been exciting. I mean, he's a ex NFL guy. Um, he's he's been in our shoes before. Um, he's a he's a great leader. Um, you know, a lot of respect for him. Uh, we get along well. He, he's a uh, he's bringing some new stuff to the table, and we're really excited about it. How much of that new stuff do y'all think y'all grasp at this point in time? Yeah, I think we're uh, learning quick. We're learning fast. I mean, defense is defense. So, I mean, there's a little different words, a little different lingo, but I mean, defense is still, you know, cover one, two, three, whatever, and uh, go tackle the guy with the ball. So, I mean, once we get the lingo down and we can communicate well, I think things are going to go pretty smoothly. Without Beniquez and a young group of linebackers around, how does your role change maybe from last year? Uh, yeah, I mean, last year I had Beniquez. Me and him kind of worked together to lead the guys, but now it's a little bit more on my shoulders, I think, um, to make sure everybody's lined up and uh, set as the fifth-year senior. And I, I have some experience under my belt, so it's my job to kind of calm things down when they get hectic and uh, get guys rolling, get communicated, get the D-line set up. When you look at your numbers from last year, led the team in tackles and sacks, second in tackles for loss, where do you see your, your game growing and improving? Oh, uh, yeah, I hope to improve on it. Um, you know, get in the film room with Coach Sermon. You know, have a little bit more free time, hopefully, uh, to spend on, on that. Um, you know, to really improve on, you know, fine tuning things and, and hopefully I see some good production this year. How what's much of it? Your, what's your expectations of guys like Leo Lewis and Gary Green are going to jump in there this year and get some? Yeah, yeah. Leo's doing really well. Um, he's doing. Uh, he's learning fast. He's working harder, and I'm uh, really seeing some good things out of him right now. Gary as well. He's a very hard worker. Um, you know, both of those guys I expect a lot out of. We have a lot of young talent. Um, a lot of guys, JT, uh, Casey, um, Josiah, a bunch of guys that are going to have some chances to, to do some stuff. It seemed like I used more of a 3-4 look a lot in the spring. Is that something you plan to see in the fall, to, you know, running kind of a base defense like that? Sure, yeah. Like we, we've run some 3-4 in the past. Um, we, we didn't really emphasize it a lot. I think it would be a little more emphasized this year. I think it's something we did a lot in the spring just to kind of get used to, um, to make sure we're used and ready to do that. But, you know, we have a little bit of both. We have a little bit of everything. Um, and it's going to be a, a fun season. How have you been able to adjust having all these defensive coordinators? The past three years, it's been three different guys. Yeah, I've, I've taken a lot from all three of them, and I think it's uh, kind of helped me um, as a football player. Um, you know, I, I'm going to the NFL, so I'm going to have to learn another new defense. So I think it's going to help me be able to adjust in a year to a new defense. But ultimately, it's you know, it's still defense. Um, you know, it's still our same kind of identity as Mississippi State. Just a little different words every now and then, a little different lingo, a little different leadership. Um, but ultimately, I mean, all three coaches have taken something unique from each one and um, kind of applied it to my game. It's helped me become a, a good player. On the offensive side, what is Fred Ross going to have to do to build on what he did last year? Uh, Fred Ross is, uh, yeah, he, he had a tremendous season last year, and I think he will improve. Um, he's very smart. Um, he knows his plays. He knows his routes. Um, and I think he'll have a great season this year. Um, he's been working really hard uh, this summer, so I expect to see big things from him. What's your impressions of the Viper position? How does it kind of help you? Yeah, the Viper position is a, 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 um, a guy that's going to be kind of big guy, but be able to cover. Um, you know, it's uh, you know we got a couple, few guys you know working out that position. Um, it's going to be uh, it's going to be able to help us in the pass coverage. Um, you know, and as well as sometimes the pass rush, having a real fast guy there, it can help sometimes depending on who you're playing. Um, you know, we're going to have guys that are going to be able to we have a lot of coverages and a lot of people. Um, you know, they're going to have to guess, you know, is it pass, or are they rushing, or are they covering? So, I mean, it's going to add some, um, it's going to add some flavor to our defense. Dan you said you like the attitude of the team right now, the confidence you guys are showing. Do you see that, and where do you think that comes from? Um, yeah, I mean, we have a really good attitude and hard work. I mean, this, honestly, this is uh, one of the hardest working um, years I've seen from, uh, you know, being here five years, or this being my fifth year now. You know, it's I've seen our, our summer workouts, and the, the guys are – have a great attitude right now, not a lot of issues, um, guys are working really hard, um, and uh, I think these guys want to win really bad, they have something to prove.